When selling your house to a real estate investor, you want to make sure you're picking the right company to work with. There's a lot of companies out there that say that they buy houses. Many of them do, but this is one of the most important, largest transactions of your life. You want to make sure that you're dealing with a good, reputable company on this sale. The first thing you're probably going to do is go on Google and search for companies that buy houses or sell my house fast or something like that. What I want you to do is scroll past the paid ads at the beginning. Each ad on Google is going to be marked with a little ad icon next to it. Typically the top three to four results are going to be paid ads and, and they're indicated as such. And there's nothing wrong with paid ads. We do paid Google ads ourselves, but anyone can pay to get their ad placed at the top of the list. So there's no reputation associated with that. Just because it comes up first doesn't mean that they're better, just means they paid more money to be in that position. So what I want you to do is go past the paid ads and go to the search results that come without the ad icon. And those are called organic search results. And what that means is Google has placed those, um, those websites in that location because Google has deemed them authoritative. Um, reputable, they've been around a while, they have links from other reputable websites coming into them, and the, the content on the website is relevant to the search term that you put in. So Google does a lot of the work of kind of vetting um, the authority of different websites for you. So again, skip past the paid ads, go right to the organic search results. The next thing you want to do, even while you're still on Google, is look at the Google reviews. You want to make sure you're working with a reputable company and take a look at the reviews that they have on Google. Um, Google requires that um, I can't post reviews for my own company. It, someone with a valid Google account has to post reviews and uh, for them to show up online. And that ensures that the reviews can't be manipulated or that it's more difficult to manipulate. So Google's a good source as well as Facebook or, or other sites. Um, for reviews. Additionally, a lot of cash home buyers will have a reviews page on their website. And what you really want to do is look for video testimonials. Again, it's a lot easier to fake or write um, reviews, but if you could get video testimonials with real people, you can see the person um, from the company you're working with in the reviews. Um, that helps ensure that there's nothing fake going on. Again, people can go online, they can buy video reviews um, and, and pay an actor to, to act at a review. But if the review has, you know, it's occurring in an attorney's office or it's occurring at a house and it has the people that you're dealing with in the review, that's something that should make you feel really comfortable. The third thing you can do is look for a company that doesn't hide behind kind of their website or their brand. You want to deal with real people. Um, so when you go to the company's about page, or, or an about us or an our company type of page. See if they're putting information about themselves, pictures of them personally, and that sort of thing, their team. Because a lot of these companies um, kind of hide behind the facade. There's no personal information around there. So look to make sure that you're dealing with a real person. And again, you can double check that the people that you see on the website are the same people that, uh, that you see in some of the video reviews. The fourth thing you can do when you're vetting out who you're gonna work with or who you're even gonna make that first call to is to find someone local. There's a lot of companies that say, we buy houses nationwide or something like that and or have a million different states that they'll buy properties in. And what you really wanna do is find someone that's local to your market. Um, especially in New York, uh, transactions are very, very different from the way they work in other states and many real estate investors are not familiar with how to operate in New York. We get investors that contact us all the time who are dealing with sellers in New York and they've run into issues, they need help closing the transaction. So we'll step in and, and take it from there. But make sure, especially in New York, that you're dealing with a local New York company because transactions are different. They require an attorney instead of the title company to run the transaction and it's a very different process here. Additionally, when you're working with a local company, they can come to your house and really get a much better idea of what the property's worth than just trying to find comps online or go off pictures. Um, being a local expert in the market 
really allows us to know what other investors are doing in the area, whether they're doing things like dormering, whether they're putting on second floors, and that allows us to make much higher, more competitive offers than someone who's just making an offer from behind the computer screen out of another state. So now that you've narrowed down which investor or investors you're gonna contact, once you meet with them and get an offer, you still wanna do a couple more steps of vetting to make sure that they're gonna be able to deliver on the offer as promised. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is ask for proof of funds. Investors will show you all different types of things for proof of funds, but the most important one or the most valuable one is gonna be cash proof of funds, looking at cash in their bank account. Um, because many investors will show you a letter from a lender that says they're authorized to borrow a million dollars or X amount of money. And while that shows they may have some line of credit or which you can buy those letters for $20 online, um, but that does not mean that that bank's gonna fund this deal. So they're still gonna have to go through an application process. The bank's still gonna have to underwrite that deal. So the most sure thing you can, you can look for is that the investor is showing you cash proof of funds, whether it's bank statement, showing you their balance on their app or, or something along those lines. You could also ask them for other properties that they purchased. Uh, or an investor who's doing a good volume of business and who's reputable will easily be able to point to other properties that they've re recently purchased, show you properties that they've rehabbed and listed, and that should make you feel more comfortable that they actually have the ability and are willing to close on your property. And last but not least, one of the often overlooked um, and kind of obvious things to vet a potential home buying company is to ask for references. Uh, again, a, a reputable company will have worked with dozens or hundreds of previous customers. And if they don't have uh, one or more people that they can refer you to that has sold their home to this company, then that should be a real red flag. Uh, I know if you call us, we'd happily refer you to any number of our happy customers. So all in all, I think those seven steps will help you make sure that you select and then ultimately work with a reputable company in your area. And, you know, really use your gut. It's important to do business with people you know, like, and trust. Um, so I hope this was helpful. And if you do have a house to sell in the New York area, I hope you give us a call. Thanks again.